So y'all, it's your boy eBay Fight Predictions in the build, and I'll be recapping UFC Vegas 39. I watched the whole card. I know I didn't stream it, but I was like, I'm not sure if anyone really wanted to watch it. Uh, I know I said I was gonna. Pr I made some promises, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna stream the Marvin Vittori versus Paulo Costa card, and I'm going to stream UFC 267. I hope you guys do know the people in America. Uh, that card does start at 7:30, so. Yeah, uh, I know my UK boys are out here partying and having fun. A lot of these cards are starting early, so uh, I guess they're giving the UK boys some uh, <laughs> a proper layoff from all the goddamn, uh, you know, I guess, uh, you know, overnight uh, watching UFC events. You know, it is what it is. But uh, let's talk about this card, man. Really, really fun card. Uh, if I was to give it a, a score, uh, you know, 10 out of 8, I would actually give it a... Or not 10 out of 8, or 10 out of 10. I guess I gave it away. I gave it 10 out of 8. It was actually a really, really fun card. Hopefully, the uh, the Andre Alosky versus Carlos Felipe card will be that fun. Yes, you heard me. I said the Andre Alosky versus Carlos Felipe card. Because Aspen Ladd versus that Norma DeMont Ho is not my main event. So it is what it is. But uh, let's talk about the card, man. I, I mean... Um, I went six out of nine, so I did all right. I had some. I had some wrong. Main card really killed me, honestly. Uh, only had a, another idiot lose, but uh, yeah, let's talk about it, man. Steve Garcia versus Charlie Ontiveros. Um, Steve Garcia is a rat face idiot. <laughs> I'm sorry. They, I don't think that guy is going to be any good at anyway. And then Charlie Ontiveros is another dummy. Uh, I guess blonde hair wannabe. Uh, I don't know. Um, Ontiveros clipped him. Steve Garcia. I swear to God, I'm, I know I'm going to be. I'm going to sound mean, but the dude's he got a rat face. And, it, and the dude was doing the stanky leg, and it is what it is. Uh, um, I don't want to be too mean on him, but, uh, yeah, he, you know, he, it did, he didn't seem like that much of a big favorite that he was supposed to be, and uh, he almost lost that fight. But he got it done in the second round and uh, finished Charlie because Charlie doesn't know how to grapple, so it is what it is. Uh, and then, yeah, next fight, Lupita Gu uh, Guñones versus uh, Silvana gomez uh, Juarez, I, I mean, uh, Lupita looked good. Her wrestling looked good. One of her takedowns was kind of sloppy, but uh, I mean, she, you know, she took control of the fight, uh, whooped on her opponent, and did her thing. So, what, what more can you ask for her? I was really hoping this girl was his 125er. I, I, I don't know why I thought she was a uh, flyweight, but um, I guess, I guess Valentina got lucky because I look at this girl as a, a future prospect. I think if she can get more work, she can actually actually be really, really good. Um, and, you know, she gave Jessica Pena hell, and I thought she won that fight, you know, hitting her with Batista bombs and shit like that, which is pretty funny, so, um, it is what it is, but, uh, yeah, she got, she got the armbar, finished her quick, and got her out of there, you know, the other lady looked like a soccer mom, but at least she treated her like a soccer, a soccer mom in this fight, uh, I'm gonna rant really hard on Charles Rosa, I mean, Charles, I'm not even mad at Damon Jackson, he won, he did his thing, he did his job, but Charles Rosa, what the fuck, bro? Like, come on. Dude, like, what are you doing? Like, ah, oh, Every time. It's literally win, lose, win, lose. This is how you got to predict this guy. It's not even... Even though you have a favorable matchup against a guy with a suspect chin, is not that durable. It's just basically... Uh, he's not even that good of a grappler. Not even that good of a wrestler. Yeah, he got some takedowns in, but he doesn't normally go for takedowns. You were the better striker in there. And... You, you fucking fluked it. You had the man hurt. You had him split the fuck open. And instead of standing back up and putting the striking pressure on him, you, you acted like another dummy from Boston. I saw your fucking franchise all suck. Your, your whole entire fan base suck. I just want to say that right there, too. And fuck Boston. For that. <laughs> I'm just, I'm playing, I'm playing. But, like, no, but real talk. Come on, Charles. God, like, I swear to God, I can't watch this guy's fucking fights. He gives me a fucking aneurysm, blood. Shit. It really is. He's going to win his next fight, right? That's how he's going to win. And then he's going to lose his, the, the fight after that. That's, it's just how, that's how you got to predict this fucking idiot. But good on Damon Jackson. I mean, and then did this dummy walking. What is his problem? Every time he fucking wins, he always got something to say. He right? walks over Charles Rose. I know Rose is a fucking idiot that deserves his goddamn black belt snatched. But it is what it is. Uh, you know, I, yeah, it, it's just it's like, come on, man. I, I just, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Um, another fight that's probably going to piss me off. Alexander Romanov versus Jared Nail Polish Vandera. I don't think... I might have been the only one that noticed it. But Jared Vandera had painted his uh, fucking nails and shit like that. And his toenails. And I know some people are going to be like, well, what's the issue? It's like, you know, it, it is what it is. I'm not hating on him for that. But no, actually, I'm lying. I am hating on him for that. Because he's a fruit bowl, man. Like, the hell wrong with him with this fruit cake? God damn, why are you doing that? Like, and I'm not even like mad at Vendera for losing. He, he he lost to the favorite, but it's like, come on, bro. 
the hell you look like a dummy and you're getting pounded out right um and then pause by the way <laughs> um but yeah exactly like it, it's just i mean just too much fruit cake business going on i just i can't take them seriously y'all i'm sorry i just i can't like, y- y'all can't get mad at me for that right but um it is what it is romanov did his job took took him out of that but man come on vandera dude like what's with the what's with the nail polish my guy like come on. <laughs> like chill out and i see so many guys do it and most of them they sound normal and then i, I see them pop out the fingernails and I, it's all black and i'm like god damn dude what is wrong with you? <laughs> Why are you doing that? But it is what it is. Um, next fight, Chris Gutierrez versus Felipe Cor- uh, Colares or whatever his name is. Um, Chris didn't look that good, but he he got the job done. He you know beat his opponent. Uh, I thought it was very very close. I mean, Felipe put a lot of good pressure on him, and um, yeah, Chris did the right thing. He, he used his movement, he used his footwork, he used his lateral movement, and kind of outpointed him. And yeah, it is what it is. Uh, and then next fight, oh my god. Maria Agapova, I already know the Kyrgyzstan people going to goddamn span their fucking flags against Sabina Mezo. Um, Mezo deserves all the ridicule. She fought like a dummy. Uh, she got lit up like a dummy, and she got submitted like a dummy. She, she tapped out before even the... Like, I don't even want to call her a quitter. It's just... It is what it is. You know, it's it's MMA, right? It's a fight. You know, one person's going to quit, and another person's going to win. But, like... Dude, like, come on! <laughs> At least let it stay in there for a few seconds. Like, have some, have some self-respect. But uh, I mean, Maria, it is what it is. She got the W, but you still are Shane Dobson's son, and I know she's a girl, so I should call call her her daughter. But she got sunned in there, got against Dobson with a fucking losing record. And um, I already know people are gonna hype her up again, and people are gonna tell me this and that, and she's on this. She ain't on nothing. Whatever. She got the W, but. Yeah, it is what it is. I I just I just don't want to deal with this dummy no more. Like I I'm just completely done with whole MMA. Like I know it's, you guys you guys call it female. I'm just calling it whole MMA from now and on. And that's what it is, and that's what it always will be to me. So uh, <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, I was uh, I might be salty, but like she got it done. I give her that. But um, but yeah, <sighs> whatever. Uh, Matthews Nicolau versus Tim Elliott. Um, Tim Elliott's fucking James. Uh, I don't even know what I was going to say. Tim Elliott's coach is a complete dummy. James Krause is a dummy. Um, good win on Mateos. He he ba- like first of all, Tim Elliott barely won the first round. If it wasn't for the knockdown, he would have probably might have lost that. Well, actually, he's doing really good in that first round. But yeah, you know, Mateos was figuring him out, landing shots, landing body work. Uh, the the counter right was money. He just was figuring out. In the third round, he sealed it. He got the takedown, and he kept him on the ground for like three you know three minutes straight. And um, that's on that's on Tim Elliott. So. It is what it is. Um, James Cross didn't do his fighter a favor by lying on him like that, but yeah. But in the co-main event, probably the fight I really want to talk about the most, Randy Brown versus Randy Brown. Let me put some respect on this kid's name versus Jared Gooden. I mean, Randy Brown, he looked amazing in there. First of all, the kid is humongous, right? He's huge for welterweight. Like, he's so tall, like, uh, and he's just long and light. like, he just does. Jared Gooden did not look like a real welterweight in front of Randy Brown. Like, I, he might be a real welterweight, but he just looked small. And uh, Randy looked humongous. Like, I swear to God, he looked huge uh, compared to this kid. But, I mean, the speed, the boxing, uh, even the kicks uh, were really good. His wrestling's good. Uh, his, you know, he works with Gregor Gillespie over there in New York. Everything this kid brings is good. Um, the only issue is that it's just the cooning. He's just always cooning around. Like, come on, man. Like, <laughs> what, what did that... I remember somebody got in trouble for this a while back. I forgot. I forgot who said it. I think it was like some uh, rich person or some politician said, all these people keep monkeying around. But this kid, Randy Brown, is out here monkeying around. <laughs> like, what are you doing, kid? <laughs> I might get canceled for that. But um, I can say I'm black, right? But yeah, you know, Randy, I mean, kiddo, like, I still remember when you got knocked out by Nico Price. I still remember when you got finished by Vicente. Right, like let's just like let's calm down. Um, I, I like the I like the confidence, but I mean, I, I want to see this kid do good, right? And um, it's just you know slow your roll, figure out your opponents, beat your opponents, then talk your shit, right? But um, but yeah, I, I put this kid right there with uh, what's his name? Um, Jalen Turner. Man, these these two are just so so good, and they have so much potential. But it's just they 
they some coons, you know, they some, they some coons. So, uh, and you know, they youngsters. So, and they're obviously they're older than me. But um, and I'm I know it's crazy, right? And I'm trying to like talk down to them, but I really want to see these guys succeed. That's the only reason I'm saying that. Um, and yeah, they have so much potential because I know that the ceiling for a guy like Randy Brown. I mean, he's good. Or he gave Vicente Luque some problems in between those rounds. So it's like you know. This kid's good, and he's just his boxing was so slick. And Jerry Gooden, obviously known, I call him gay porn star all the time because he made those jokes uh, during his Abu Kar fight. But um, yeah, he got lit up. But he's a tough guy. He's a tough guy. He's a fun fighter to watch, and I'll give him that. And then Marina Rodriguez, bro. Oh my God! All these big Mac Dern fans. I it just it was. I was so disgusted. You know, I have no problem with Gabriel liking this girl, but all the other ones I seen on Twitter, I follow them. So I'm like, dude, stop sucking this girl. God damn. Like all the time. She's so good. She's so good. She's past her Big Mac days. No, she will always be Big Mac Dern to me, and she'll always be Big Mac Dern to everyone. It's over. It's a wrap. Marina put her in her place. No top five, no title shot. Keep dreaming. What the hell wrong with y'all? Jason Perillo can't fix that. I'm sorry. She can't box. All right. She's been with Perillo for a year. She just can't flat out box. I've ne- like, I don't know how she beat Nina. That that is. They gotta run that one back. I just out of respect for Nina, because I feel like it was a fluke. She looked even bad against Nina. Her boxing isn't good. The way she sets up her shots aren't good. She looks good on the pads, right? But she doesn't look good in there. Uh, she looks like she's winging shots. She looks like she's reaching. Um, Marina, it just looks so easy for Marina. The only good thing I would give Mackenzie is that she keeps, she rolls with the punches. She's really good with her defense. And um, I wouldn't even call it defense. She just uses her shoulder really well to, you know, not, not even in a Philly shell or shoulder roll kind of way, but she's just really, you know, she's really good at rolling with the punches. I give her that. That's one thing I'll give her. But obviously, she's in a class of her own in the on the ground. But yeah, you know, it is what it is. You, you can't you can't mess with Marina because Marina's a well-rounded fighter, and that's what this game is about. It's about being a well-rounded fighter. She, you look at her uh, Amanda Rebus fight. I knew Rebus. Obviously, Rebus is not as good as. Um, Mackenzie on the ground but like she's really really good and she couldn't do anything with her the only issue with Marina is that she'll always lose to a girl like Carla Esparza because she stays on the ground for too long she let Mackenzie stay on top of her for the whole I think second round and I guess some people scored a 10-8 I can see that the ground up pound it looked like it was about to be a finish I scored a 10-9 but um because I'm, I'm biased but <laughs> you know what I'm saying but uh but yeah I mean Marina did her thing. She lit her up, and she taught Mackenzie a lesson. Uh, Big Mac Dern fans, keep crying. Y'all silent right now, but uh, it is what it is. And, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's your boy, eBay. I, I, I'll check out the Wilder fight. Um, any other fights I think I'm missing? Oh, yeah, and then uh, um, my full full card predictions are coming out tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow morning, so go check that out. And, yeah, it's your boy, eBay. Don't forget to follow me on my Twitter. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram. And what else? Um... Yeah, that's about it. Uh, oh, yeah. And then subscribe. I don't know why I, I lost my train of thought. Subscribe, uh, like, comment, share the video. It's your boy, eBay. Love y'all and goodbye.